and welcome to MassCom 381 News. I'm Amy Phillips alongside Brittany Everett. Today's first story follows updates on former USA Gymnastics Olympic doctor Larry Nasser. He has pled guilty to seven acts of criminal sexual conduct after 125 victims came forward, according to CNN. Members of the Fierce Five, including Allie Raisman and Gabby Douglas, were abused by Nasser and are demanding for a change within USA Gymnastics. Funeral arrangements have been made for fallen Baltimore City detective Sean Souter. The funeral will be held at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Mount Pleasant Church, according to police. Souter was 43 years old, an 18-year department veteran, and a husband and father of five. The investigation still remains open, according to the Baltimore Sun. A $1.5 million grant in Prince George's County is allowing victims of domestic violence to flee their homes prior to filing a protective order. According to the Washington Post, the funding was secured from the state and offers victims up to six months of housing expenditures covered. According to Baltimore City PD, detectives have arrested 24-year-old Derek McNair of the 2000 block of Holland Street for attempted first-degree murder. Last month, McNair shot two young men, ages 21 and 22, in the 4700 block of Frederick Avenue. Both victims have been released from the hospital and McNair has been denied bail. In lighter news, royal officials announced on Monday Britain's Prince Harry's engagement to American actress Meghan Markle. The wedding will take place sometime in the spring and a venue will be released within due time, according to NBC News. After the break, we will have all of the latest on holiday festivities and updates on your Towson University athletics. To me, there's such a straight line from being at Towson, working on the school paper, being in my journalism classes, to here, to me being at CNN. The journalism skills I was taught at Towson are obviously crucial. I use them here every day. There are at least half a dozen professors from Towson I still keep in touch with. These are people who have been supporting me, cheerleading for me, and counseling me for a decade now. I am that stereotypical kid who graduated seven years ago who is desperate to go back. I know I wouldn't be sitting on this set if I hadn't started at Towson. Welcome back. Baltimore will light up in April with its third production of Light City, and Towson University is giving you the opportunity to light up one of your favorite faculty, alumni, or current students' day by nominating them to be a guest speaker at this year's festival conferences. Speaking of lights, join the community of Towson this Friday for the annual Christmas tree lighting. The event will take place at Olympic Park, 1 West Joppa Road near Towson Circle from 6 to 8 p.m. The event features cookies, music, dancing, and of course, an appearance by Santa Claus and Miss Claus, according to the Baltimore Sun. In the season of giving, a New Jersey woman has raised over $300,000 for a homeless veteran after he sacrificed his last $20 bill when she ran out of gas on I-95 in Philly last month. She is now asking for the country's help to create a better life for her new friend and hero, according to Good Morning America. Now for everything in Towson sports. The Towson men's basketball team have returned home from Florida after winning the Gulf Coast Showcase, giving head coach Pat Scary his 100th career win. Towson women's basketball lost a close match against Colgate on Sunday, 65-61. They take on Wagner this Thursday at 7 p.m. with new head coach Diane Richardson leading the way. From the courts to the pool, Towson swimmer Jack Saunderson has captured his third CAA Swimmer of the Week title this season. Towson Athletics says both his 100 and 200-yard butterfly times have topped all of the competition in the CAA. The Towson gymnastics season is quickly approaching with the first home meet coming up on January 14th. Assistant coach Jay Ramirez says last year's all-arounder Gabby Arusi is currently suffering a torn labrum and is hoping to heal in time to lead her team to victory. On behalf of Amy Phillips, I'm Brittany Everett for MassCom 381 News.